Hello friends, welcome to Weathercast. This is uh, my weekly feature which is start your week with weather, weather updates. And uh, today we are going to look at the weather update for the coming week which is August 23rd to 30th. So these are all unofficial updates and I uh, urge you to follow IMD for official updates. Okay, so there is a quick synopsis and then we will move on to dynamics. So the Bay of Bengal low pressure system is moving uh, northwest along the monsoon trough axis. So it will uh, continue to move in that direction and uh, under the influence of that low pressure which is also weakening at the same time, between August 23rd and 24th, heavy rains uh, are possible for Gujarat and Rajasthan. Uh, after that, the monsoon trough is going to move to foothills of Himalayas. And as we all uh, have learned from my previous educational videos about monsoon trough, if the monsoon trough moves to the foothills of Himalayas, then there is a break phase for west coast of India and central India. Uh, so for the next one week, starting from 24th onwards up to 30th or even September 1st, only scattered and isolated light to moderate rains are expected for west coast and India, sorry, west coast of India and central India for the next one week to 10 days. Ghat sections will also uh, get some get ra subdued rains. So basically, the Ghat sections, which were getting very heavy rains for the past uh, few days, will uh, uh, get a break. And in general, the rains will reduce over west coast uh, central India, including the Ghat sections. Uh, so once the monsoon trough moves to the foothills of Himalayas, then the northeast of India will get heavy rains. Uh, so that will start from August 25th and it is likely to continue for the next one week up, up until August 30th. Uh, there may be breaks in between uh, but uh, Northeast India needs to be uh, on watch. And uh, as the trough moves to uh, Northeast, it will also cover some part of North India. So North India will also get some moderate rains and thunder showers. Uh, so when there is a break for a west, for the west coast, then South India will start getting thunderstorms. So Tamil Nadu and uh, Karnataka will start getting thunderstorms from August 25th onwards. Uh, so now let, it, let us look at the dynamics. So this is the monsoon intra-season oscillation or the monsoon trough. So currently this monsoon trough is uh, here, which is at the normal axis position. So uh, the low pressure system is going to track northwest. And uh, uh, so after that, the MISO is going to get into phase 5 which is North, North India and foothills of Himalayas. So when that happens then Northeast India will get some heavy rains. And secondly if you look at the MJO plot, MJO is going to come into phase 2 which is uh, the East um, Ara Arabian Sea and West Bay of Bengal. So around uh, end, of end of August or 1st of September it is going to get into phase 2. So that will trigger some uh, convective activity. Uh, and uh, Bay of Bengal may produce another low pressure system in the first week of September. So that needs to be on the watch because MGO will become favorable. Uh, so overall what I am trying to say is the west coast of India and central India will get into a break phase until August 30th. Uh, foothills of Himalayas uh, uh, since the monsoon trough will settle there, northeast India and parts of north India will get some moderate to heavy rains and South India will get some thunderstorms, uh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu especially. And uh, by first week of September, a uh, system in Bay of Bengal is likely uh, because the MGO is getting activated in phase 2. So this is the weather pattern as you can see uh, up to 25th since the low pressure system is going to move northwest. So Gujarat and Rajasthan will get rains. After that, uh, the entire uh, west coast and central India is going to get into break phase. See, break phase means that uh, the rains will be subdued. So it will not be heavy, just light to moderate and scattered. Whereas northeast India, the activity in northeast India and parts of north India is going to pick up. Okay, uh, so that is what I mean by uh, when the monsoon trough is going to move to the foothills. And you can see <clears throat> if you draw the monsoon trough line, it is right here. That's where the east and the west, wind, westerly and the easterlies meet. So it is exactly reaching the foothills of Himalayas. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, I hope the things are clear. So just to summarize, West Coast and Central India will get into a break phase where subdued rains are expected for next one week. Um, Northeast India and North India will get some uh, good rains um, 
and uh, South India will this is a chance for South India to score some thunderstorms okay so that's the uh, outlook for the next one week and there is a possibility of a uh, system in Bay of Bengal in the first week of September because MGO support is present so that is the update and uh, I thank you again for your support and please subscribe to this channel for regular weather updates along with the dynamics